So my headlight is aimed so low, I don't think I actually need to turn off my high beams. Also, the high beam indicator has stopped working again all on its own. That's fine. I'll just have them on all the time. The, uh, the gauge lights and the taillight didn't come on until I took off from a stop, so I think maybe that they only come on if the generator is charging enough. I have the idle set pretty low, just so it's not so loud all the time. I just saw a shooting star. Oh, this is still closed. Uh, well, this makes things interesting. A crescent moon. A waxing crescent. Oh, the car behind me has their high beams on. That's irritating. Oh, that was really blinding me, having those high beams in my mirror. Of course, I don't know if you can see this in the video because it's dark, but I can just flip my mirror down. It sort of just, it sort of just flips down. I should have probably adjusted the headlight. I thought I would do it at one point, you know, just to join myself, adjust a headlight real quick. But uh, I thought ah, I'll probably won't be riding this bike at night anytime soon.
Okay, so apparently instead of high beam and low beam, it has headlight dim, tail light off, gauge light off, or high beam and everything is on. I think I'm about to run out of fuel, so I'm practicing flipping to reserve on the go. One of the nice things is there's this pointy, sharp piece of plastic that vibrates really hard. And if you put your finger on that, right where it feels like it's gonna like chisel through your skin, the uh, fuel valve is right next to that. The good news is I got a, uh, I got a new back protector. And it's very comfortable. It's the Alpine Stars uh, RS2, I think it's called. They make two under the clothes back protectors, and one of them is for like sport and race, and one of them is for sport touring and touring. I got the touring one, the more flexible one. It's a lot more comfortable than my old back protector which was just a bunch of plastic sewn to a vest. The mug and bops is closed because they can't find employees. Let's check out this light situation. Alright, the tail light's on, the headlight's on, the gauge light's on. Low beam. No tail light. Okay, so that's just wired incorrectly. Fantastic. And then we're going to play gas cap roulette, which is where we put gas in it. And there appears to be a 50-50 chance whether or not the gas cap will seat properly. The only way to find out is to get up to speed and see if it starts buzzing. Don't drop my wallet. Let's tuck that wallet like that. Turn the high beams off so when I start it, it's not draining the battery. One nice thing about having a switch that turns off all your lights is you can reduce battery usage at will.
Oh, right, headlights. Yeah, there's nothing quite like a dirt bike with a tail that you can turn off to mark yourself as suspicious to the authorities. I swear I don't have a taillight switch so I can run, officer. The wiring is from a scooter. And the street lights are gone, and I can't see. Let's see how fast I can go with this headlight. 45. I think I can chill out at 45. I would take a dirt road home. But the, uh, the most convenient dirt road to take is currently blocked by a huge tree. resist the instinct to turn off my high beams. Come on, flash me and tell me if my high beam is bright. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for just a second and see, see what it's like. Oh god. It's bad. It's like, oh it, it's not even on. It like tried to be on and then it went off maybe? Or was that the high beam having some problems and flickering? I don't know. Maybe when I replace the headlight I'll just replace the plugs and switches and shit. It's not like I don't spend all day every day working on motorcycles. I was just gonna adjust the headlight. Be like, oh, I'll aim the headlight forwards, that'll help. Doesn't mean, what are you doing? Doesn't mean shit if, uh, turn around the low beam, turns the tail light off, and the gauge lights. Gauge lights aren't that important, but a tail light is kind of important. Hey, I have headlights in front of me. Hey, slow down. Let me use you. Be my friend. Be my friend. Be my friend. Speeder. I saw what you were up to. Exceeding. Exceeding the speed limit by uh, more than four miles per hour. God damn. know you know a dirt road well when even though you can't see 10 feet in front of you you still know where the bumps are going to be
have to leave my visor up because the fucking thing is so scratched that I can't see shit. Without the moonlight, I'm I'm only able to go about 28 miles an hour. It's an actual scooter right now. The speed governor is the darkness. Don't drop your bike in the mud in the middle of the night. Because that would suck for three reasons. Woo! Woo! I could have just gone straight through the puddles, but... I don't want to get my shoesies wet before I have to put them on the floor. Go away, stick. Go away, stick. I'm a very smart person and did turn on my outside lights before I left, even though I knew I was going home in the dark. Uh, one nice thing about being too lazy to mow your lawn as you can feel your way to your door by where the tall grass is. <laughs>